think the purpose of assignments are to measure and assess student learning, to give students an opportunity to reflect on their own experience, but also as instructors, assignments give us an opportunity to really have a dialogue with students about what they're learning, what they might be going through, and the particular content that an assignment might be geared towards. I think the elements that make an assignment meaningful have to do with reflection and application, and particularly the application. The, the literature on high impact practices suggests that uh, assignments need to have a real world application. So if you're having students that are you know, learning to use skills in a different setting, they're transferring the learning in U101 into, let's say, their history class or their chemistry class. I want to be sure that when I assign something, it's something that you're going to grow from. And it's not something that's just going to be regurgitating the stuff that we talked about in class. I think it's really important in U101 to have assignments where you can journal or reflect rather than have multiple choice questions. I think the second best practice is that you, you use it. It's not simply a private transaction between the instructor and the student, but that you're able to leverage the power of the, the class's community in order to um, foster their learning. If you've given them some sort of assignment where they've all sort of done the same thing but done it independently, but you give them an opportunity to discuss it together, it allows for more reflection. So it's not just they did the assignment, they turned it in, they get a grade they move along their merry way, um, they get something out of it that they take with them beyond that. I think it's also important that the students are able to apply the learning in conjunction with their peers. So I could have them do an academic success assignment where they make flashcards for a week, or they type their notes, or they go to uh, tutoring, and they can turn that into me and I can give them some credit for that. But the real value is in them coming in and talking about that with their peers and saying, hey, this worked for me, this might work for you, and leveraging the power of that community in the University 101 classroom. Assignments in a course like this take on a different meaning. It's, it's more of to share ideas and to make a, a community and foster an exchange of, of ideas so that students can see what, what, what are other students doing that they could potentially benefit from. By sharing, like you see other people's point of views which you might not have thought about before and it just might help you throughout college more and uh, it's definitely much more meaningful than just turning it in and then like moving on to the next assignment, just hoping you get a good grade. It was more than just getting a grade. I, my classmates were seeing it. I actually felt like I had to put work into it. Otherwise, you know, compare that to a paper for another class where I just show it to the teacher. If I could give instructors one piece of advice when it comes to creating assignments, it is to tell the students why you decided to do that assignment and why you decided to do it in that way. You have to sell it. You have to explain the relevance and the purpose to students so they understand what it is that they're doing, why they're doing it, and they get excited and you have their buy-in. I always talk about sort of big picture, what you're supposed to get out of this and how it applies to what, we're, what we've already talked about and maybe what we're going to talk about in the, the days and weeks to come. So I think that if you want to one instructors approach it from a place of, listen, this is like what we're doing and I think you'll really like it and this is kind of why and explaining it. In order to get a student excited I think you'll have to maybe lay out how this can benefit them in the long run and how it can relate to different things that they're excited about on campus. I try to frame it as uh, these assignments or an assignment in particular is something that's going to really help them to find out more about themselves and what they want. So I make it more about discovery and giving them ownership in the assignment, not just something that I'm saying, hey, this is what you have to do because I say so. It's nothing like that at all. It's, uh, it's communal and I make sure that the students truly buy into what uh, we're doing in the class. Allowing students to choose the topics that are of importance to them rather than me saying, this is the topic that should be important to you. Now go talk about this or write about this you're able to select a topic that, that you find most meaningful and most valuable, and then we get to sort of have a dialogue about that through the assignment that you submit. I think choice in assignments is very useful to students because it allows them to pick their strengths out and it gives them a chance to really shine. If you're having trouble thinking about what a good assignment might be for a particular topic area, come back to the learning outcomes for you one-on-one um, and think about 
how can I frame this in the learning outcomes? How can I maybe tie more than one together? It's not gonna be just a one and done deal. It's not just gonna hit one outcome, but something that is really layered uh, that meets multiple uh, outcomes. I try to hit as many boxes as possible when it comes to an assignment. So by that, like for a midterm, if they're working together as a group to complete some items on the bucket list, that's gonna test their time management skills, their teamwork skills, communication, um, and also knowledge of campus resources and traditions. And so they're doing one assignment, but they're going to be um, challenged in different ways to get it done. An assignment is meaningful when I would say it is interactive and leaves a lasting impression.